uh, on the east side with our small business empowerment fair as we are giving people who want to invest in the city of Detroit or who want to continue to invest in the city of, of Detroit or continue to do business or learn how to do business in the city of Detroit information all up under one roof, right in the community is where we are. It's always good when you can pull different departments in and have them all up under one roof and give the information to the people so they don't have to try to shop around. We were able to have presentations and also let them ask the questions that they wanted to ask to be able to get information that they need to help them be successful. And that's what we're all about, servicing our constituents, servicing the people in the city of Detroit, helping them be successful. Many of them have been in the city, want to remain in the city, or want to learn how to do business in the city. That's what we want. And we want to see them prosper as others who are coming into the city are prospering. Hello, my name is Laura Sigmund. I own Best Practices Consulting Services. And we are here today to support the City Council's agenda for small business empowerment. We actually offer small business strategy plans. We also do financial coaching, but we really try to help people figure out their actual profit maximization. We are a Motor City Match service provider since inception. We've been helping them with all of their participants who are seeking financial discipline. Hi, I'm Jacquees Purefoy. I'm here at Freck on the East Side representing Build Institute. The Build Institute is a small business incubator located right now in Southwest Detroit. We teach people how to start, grow, and build their own companies. We have two tracks. One track is an eight week program where we cover different subject matters each week. For example, we'll start with legal, move into accounting, marketing, advertising, etc. Our accelerated courses offer every other Saturday 10 to 3 covering those same materials. So you can choose if you want to have an eight week course or come for four sessions. At the end of the session, you'll have a business plan. And at that point, we'll connect you with one of the many lenders we work with in the city of Detroit. We work very closely with Kiva Detroit, which is a micro lender who lends up to $10,000. For more information, go to www.buildinstitute.org. What we do here is we are a training vocational uh, center. So we have asbestos abatement, lead abatement, um, OSHA training, EPA lead RP. We also have builder's license, um, real estate. Um, we have masonry, welding, heavy equipment, so we have class A. So we uh, go a little bit between classes and programs. So our bigger programs we have job placement assistance for. Um, and then you can always do just the individual classes too, which are, like I said, the asbestos abatement, lead abatement, the OSHA classes. Everything's scheduled pretty regularly, so it comes up about once a month. Um, and if you ever want to get signed up, all you do is just give us a call and we'll put your name on a list. Or you can always join our newsletter so we can reach out to you that much. <laughs> okay, thank you. You have a good one. My name is Alyssa Abelaz. I work as a marketing intern at Grand Innovation powered by Lifeline and we offer a variety of business consulting services that basically help the community develop new businesses and make sure they have a strong foundation for future development. consultancy called Bloom and um, we're a new business. We're, it's been about five years but we're new in the work that we do. So it's really like helping organizations to integrate human-centered design thinking, uh, lean business and these more innovative types of approaches. So um, with that we're trying to scale. We've been doing this for five years and now I'm looking to get funding to grow and to collaborate and have new partnerships. And so my conversations with the Small Business Administration and with SCORE um, have helped me to just look at some potential strategies on being able to grow and develop, so that's been helpful. The SBA is a federal agency, and the reason we exist is to help businesses get started, help them grow, and help them stay in business. We focus on three areas. We focus on counseling and training, we focus on access to capital, and we focus on government contracting. I'm Megan McLaughlin. I'm the loan fund manager at Michigan Women Forward. 
We are a statewide nonprofit with a mission to help serve women and girls across the state of Michigan. Uh, we have an entrepreneurial initiative, which is why I'm here today, that provides programming and support for aspiring and existing business owners across the state of Michigan. Um, we provide a microloan fund, so for businesses and startups that are seeking cash. Um, and we also have pitch competitions and programming to support and provide technical assistance for businesses that need resources other than money. So uh, today was Council President, myself, fourth Small Business Empowerment Fair, actually uh, part one of two for cash readiness, capital access, and then our second portion will be on grant writing. It was amazing. We had a great turnout despite the weather. Folks were here because they want to stay in the city and they want to reinvest where they grew up. So we were able to offer a lot of pertinent information, connect the dots with people. We connected people to our task force. It was just a magnificent event that I'm so glad that me and my colleague, my mentor, my friend were able to bring to District 3.